Let's start defining our waistline with some rib slides. Move your rib cage to the right and left. Side to side. Feel a stretch in your oblique muscles or your sides as you do this. Really think about isolating the rib cage and keeping the shoulders out of the equation. Double time. Now let's move the rib cage up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We're using our upper abdominal muscles to help lift the rib cage up. You should feel a squeeze between your shoulder blades as you lift your rib cage up. Now side up, side down, side up, side down, side up, side down, make a box. Side up, side down. Other direction. Side up, side down, side up, side down, side up, side down. Now smooth it out into a circle. Now we're going to learn the lower half of a move that's called a camel or full body undulation. With your lower abdominal, squeeze and pull your hips back. Bend your knees slightly and push forward by squeezing your gluteal muscles and straightening the knees. Back and forward. Back and forward. Pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Notice I'm not moving the upper body at all, really isolating the hips here. Think about making a nice smooth move, back and forward. Really smooth it out now, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, just the hips. Now we're going to add a chest lift and drop. So it's up, down, back, front. Chest up and down, hips back and front. Chest up, down, hips back, front. Up, down, and back, front. Up, down, back, front. Now smooth it out. Up and down and back and front. Nice smooth body undulation. Up, down, back, front. Up, down, back. Now let's add a variation. The chest is going to go out and up and back, and the hips will go back and forward. Chest out, up, back, down, hips back, and front. Chest out, up, back, down, hips back, and front. Chest out, up, back, down, hips back, and front. Chest out, up, back, down, hips back, and front. Keep going. Try to smooth it out now. Chest out, up, back, down, hips back, and front. Now we're going double time, really making a smooth undulating movement. This is called a full camel. Now let's move on to our hips. Start with one hip and lift it up, out, down, and in. Other side, up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, in. Up, out, down, and center. Up, out, down, and center. Lean out as you go out. Lift up as you go up.
Let's kind of smooth it out a little bit. Up, out, down, center. Think about making circles with your hips. We're still going up, out, down, center and alternating, but we're smoothing it into a nice circular shape. This is really sculpting our waistline. Keep going. Now doubles on each side. One and two, other side, one and two. Really think about that circular shape. Other side, one and two, and circle, circle, other side, circle, circle, one and two, other side, one and two. Really feel it in your waist. Now we're going to do the same movement, but opposite. Instead of starting the movement by lifting the hip up, we're going to start by dropping the hip down. So it's down, out, up, in. Down, out, up, in. Down, out, up, in. Down, out, up, in. See how we're drawing our circle with our hips? Starting from the down and working our way up. Down, out, up, in. Down, out, up, in. Now smooth it out. So we're reaching the hip out and lifting it up to make that circle. So we're drawing a figure eight vertically with our hips. You can have the corresponding arm movement if you like. You should really be feeling this in your waist right now. Now we're going to do the same move horizontally. So the hips go out, side, back, center. Out, side, back, center. Front, side, back, center. Front, side, back, center. Same figure eight, but on the horizontal plane. Front, side, back, Center, front, side, back, center. Front, side, back, center. Front, side, back, center. Keep going, excellent. So if you had a pencil sticking down from each hip, you'd be drawing the shape of a figure eight on the floor beneath you. Now double time. Front side back, front side back, front side back, front side back. Circle one side, other side, other side, other side. Really lean your hip out. Really think about creating the shape of that figure eight on the floor. Now hip up and down, up and down, up and down. Point the toe of the hip that you're lifting. That'll give you more height on your hip lift. And drop and lift, drop and lift. Drop the hip just by bending the knee. Keep that toe pointed. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift, drop. Lift and drop. Double time now. Accent on the drop. And drop 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 and drop. Good. Other side, half time. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift and drop and lift and drop. Remember, keep the toe pointed on the hip that we're lifting and dropping and execute the hip movement by bending and straightening the knee.
double time. Accent on the down, down and 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 down. Good. Just bending that knee to make that hip go up and down. Now slide your hips to the side. Side, center, side, center. Side, center, side, center. Both feet are flat on the ground. Feet shoulder width apart. Just leaning those hips outside and side. Side and side. Feel a stretch in your hips. Side and side. Now double time. Side, 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 side. Work those hips. Excellent. Keep going. Now let's stretch the hip out. Bend the knee and bring that same arm over to one side, stretching the entire side of the body. And other side. Bend the other knee and bring that arm over. You will stretch all the way from your arm down through your hip and the side of your leg. Good. Relax. And you've completed the Waist Builders workout. See you soon.